Hi, this is Al at Help for Android, and in this tutorial I'm going to describe how to connect up to a Wi-Fi network and how to use the built-in Android web browser. To begin, earlier I had put a shortcut on my desktop to go to the tablet settings. So let's go ahead and tap on that shortcut and we'll go to the tablet settings. So to begin, right now we have the Wi-Fi disabled on this tablet. To enable the Wi-Fi network, you would press on this little box on the right hand side. You'll see a check mark appear and that will indicate that the Wi-Fi network is now enabled on the tablet. The network notification, if this was enabled, would show an indication down in the lower right hand corner in your notification bar as to whether there were um, available wireless networks. Now currently it's not showing anything yet, it probably needs to update, but you would see <coughs> uh, notifications occur down in the lower right hand corner here to show you that Wi-Fi networks are, enable are available for you to connect up to. Generally speaking, I keep that disabled because if I'm going to have, um, if I'm going somewhere where I know that there's a network that I need to connect up to, I'll just connect up at that particular time. Um, I will do a search at that particular time and I'll show you how that occurs. So for me, I always keep the network notification disabled. So now, down below here under Wi-Fi networks, you'll see the available networks uh, that we could try to connect up to. The networks that have a little lock next to them indicate that the network is security protected and the network that we're going to connect up to is my home network called HomeNet here. To connect up to it you basically do you can either tap on it in which case it will allow you to enter information so let's go ahead and enter the password which I previously put into my paste buffer and we can connect and you'll see that the tablet is connecting up right now it's saying it's obtaining an address and now it's connected and you see in the lower right hand corner here now we're connected to my home net network let's go ahead and bring that down now as I had mentioned earlier, if you do a long press on certain items, it will come up with a context-sensitive menu that's specific for that particular object that you had tapped. And if we tap on the home net over here, you have the capability to go back in and modify the settings. For example, let's say you type the password incorrectly and you need to modify that. You can do that that way or if you wanted to see the password you can click on that show password. The other thing that you can do on the network is if you let's say we're at a hotel and you connect it up to a network and then you say well I don't need that network anymore you can do a long press and then say forget that network and it will remove that from your uh, tablet connections and if you ever came back you would have to reconnect again. <clears throat> but let's right now let's go ahead and reconnect to the network and then we'll start using the browser we're connected let's go back to our home screen and now we will go into the Android browser which is this blue world icon over here let's go ahead and close the windows I have. <clears throat> oh, um, one thing to note uh, with the Google browser, if you close um, each all of the tabs, it will actually close the browser entirely. Uh, some consider that a feature, not necessarily always uh, convenient, but that's the way that the browser works. Now, this browser is a tabbed browser which means that you can have multiple tabs running simultaneously. You can switch between different tabs. It's kind of like going between different windows. So for example, let's say that we want to search for puppy pictures. And we go to puppy pictures. Whoops, sorry, hit the home button. So let's go ahead and look at our puppy pictures here. 
So we have puppy pictures. Now, one thing that I had mentioned before is that if you see, in, if you look in the upper right hand corner here, we're currently in the browser, and you see these horizontal lines. That basically means that there's menus specific to what's on the screen right now. So this would be menus specific to the browser. So if we tap on those horizontal lines, you'll see uh, selections for different things that we might want to do with the browser. For example, we can go to the settings for the browser, or we can open up a new tab. And in this case, it'll go to Google. We can do a find on page. Let me show you how that works. Let's close that, and we'll close this uh, tab to do a find on page. Let's find some words that are on the page. So let's take a look at, uh, for example, the word cutest appears here. Let's do the search for the word cute and see how many times it shows up. If you're looking at a particular page, it can be any page at all uh, that you're browsing on, you can do a menu selection and then do a find on page. And then you can type C-U-T-E, cute, now the word cutest was there and the word cute and we'll see up in the upper right hand corner that there's 18 different um, uh, words of cute on this particular page. So if you use these arrows here you can actually move between all the different cute words on the page and you'll notice that they are also highlighted on the page. There's a little box around the word every time the word cute or cutest appears. Um, on the page. So that's a very handy thing to do if you're looking for a specific item on a page, specific words. When you're done searching for those words, you can close this, hit the done. Oh, sorry, that ended up, uh, I think I may have accidentally hit the back arrow button at the same time accidentally. Um, so anyways, if you uh, uh, clear, hit the done, if we do that again, the way it should work, Okay, so I will hit close on the done there. And now we're still on the same page. So that was just an accident. I accidentally hit it wrong. So, um, now as I mentioned before, you can also do tabbed browsing on here. With tabbed browsing, you can also look at puppy pictures and kitten pictures at the same time. So for example, if we hit this little plus that's sitting on the tab next to the one on top, we get a new Google screen and we can start looking for kitten pictures. And so let's go ahead to kitten pictures. Okay, now as I said, we can do these simultaneously. We can switch between the tabs very quickly. Right now we have kitten pictures on this tab. We tap on this other tab over at the top, and we're now looking at YouTube puppy pictures. Go back to here, we go back to kitten pictures. So if you're looking at two different things, or you want to uh, search on one thing, maybe go to another. Also, sometimes when you uh, click on a hyperlink while you're browsing, you'll end up with a new window created. That will possibly go to a second tab, so you can stay go between the first tab and the second tab. Um, to go between the things that you're searching for. Um, if you want to close, again, if you want to close any of these tabs, you just hit the little X that's on the side of the tab that's currently selected. It will close that tab. Now, um, you have the capabilities to do uh, various things on the standard browser. You have the search um, uh, button over here you have a little thing that looks like a bookmark you can create a you can create a bookmark for the page that you're at if you tap on this add bookmark and then hit OK it will add that to your bookmark list also on your browser you have the capability to look at the history of what you searched for uh, or what you've done on your browser you can see we went to kitten pictures puppy pictures and so on go back to bookmarks of places that you have bookmarked for future reference. Let's go back. Um, you can also do a, a previous page by hitting the back arrow here. And um, let's go back to 
a home uh, you can also go to the forward and go uh, so you've got backwards forwards refresh um, the search will also do the search uh, for a Google search so one of the other things I want to do is I want to show you a very nice feature of the tabbed browser let's go ahead and close this and as I mentioned before if you hit close all the tabs on the browser it will actually close the browser itself now uh, one of the other settings that's a very nice feature on the Google tablet. Now, as you'll notice, you have tabs <coughs> on the top here, and there's a fair amount of space being taken up by the menus and such on the top. Android gives you a very nice feature. If we go into settings, and then we tap on labs, there's an option for what's called the quick controls and we will select that right now and I'll show you how that works you'll notice that one of the nice features is that now you have the full screen allocated to your web browser the menus on the top are gone but they are still available the way that you get to the menus is you tap on the right hand side or the left hand side of your screen and you'll get this quick menu that will allow you to do many of the common things actually the same things that you saw on the top of your screen before but now you would get them by basically sliding your finger across let's say that we wanted to add a new tab before I told you you would do that by hitting the plus button on one of the tabs well here if you hit a plus here you'll get a new tab let's go ahead and close that tab let's go again and just so that it's easier to see we will open up puppy pictures and then we'll also open up, open up kitten pictures and to create a new tab we hit the plus we slide our finger over to the plus over here we have a new tab and now we have kitten pictures okay so now we have two tabs but you don't actually see the tabs across the top of the screen like we did before but you can get to those tabs quickly by hitting on the right hand side of your screen or the left hand side of your screen whichever you're more comfortable with and going to what looks like these little tabs over here and you can slide your finger around on these tabs to go between the two tabs quickly so this one's the puppy pictures again if we go back here and we go between the screens this one's the kitten pictures so that's a convenient way for you to get uh, between your tabs you can also close a tab by excuse me by uh, hitting on the little X box here you can do a bookmark just like uh, we did before you can enter a web page directly by typing on the uh, hitting that little thing that looks like a world uh, you have the forward buttons and back buttons just like you do on a normal browser and the refresh button and so on and you also have this horizontal bar which is the menus option so this gives you a full screen that you can work with but it also gives you a quick way to get around um, and I find that this is a much handier way uh, to use a browser especially on a tablet anyways that's all we have for this tutorial if you have any questions or requests be sure to put them on the web page and I'll try and address them as soon as possible Let's go ahead and close these windows down, and we're done for now. Thank you, and again, this is Al at Help for Android.